New week, it's about 6.25. Just waking up now to start my day. The first thing we'll start with is the workout. About 40, 50 minutes. So yeah, let me get to it. First things first, done, workouts out of the way. And yeah, now it's just about prepping for the day and then heading to work. So come along with me. Right, so the outfit is set, okay? I haven't worn this blazer since I moved the side, so very, very nice change. See, I dress up for you guys, come on, come on. All you could do is just give a like, thumbs up, share it with your friends, you know, who want to know what consulting in Riyadh is like. Anyways, 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 I'm used to skipping breakfast because I was fasting last month, so pretty much gonna be the same vibe, skip breakfast and just head to work. I couple with some colleagues, so just need to check on them if we're still good. Otherwise, everything is set up for a very good day. Do you wanna say hi? Hi, good day. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Yeah, just introduce yourself. How's it been working with me for the last five months? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Shannon Sass. Like Emmanuel said, we've been together for the last five months and I think we had quite an interesting project. Our first project in, in Saudi has been quite a baptism of fire. So <laughs> we've been working quite quite intensely and yeah, it's been good. Good getting to know Emmanuel. Yeah. Uh, I think we've, we've grown over the five months. We've built up a good relationship. And it helps that you're from South Africa. So yeah. okay. that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> last week of the project, what are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to having a little bit of a break, right? So it feels like we've been we've been working for quite a while and it's been quite good. I've learned a lot about the region. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking forward to the next phase. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for saying hi. I get settled and start the day. Let's do a quick office tour. Yeah. Mortez, my buddy, yeah. not my mentor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to say hi to the collective? Yeah. So yeah. Introduce Yourself. Hello, my name is Marta Saimi. I'm a senior consultant in the Rialva office. I've been living here in Rialva for the last year, and before that, I used to live in the Mam of the Eastern Province of Saudi. And you're recently back from the flight. Does it feel good? Feels good. Feels good. Yeah, it's good to go and see new faces <laughs> every now and then, and get to meet new people. We literally met last week. Yeah, in person. Time, right? yeah, 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 yeah. We've been like knowing so, each other like for what, a couple of months now. Couple of months. We've had so. only video calls, but now we get to meet in person too. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. All right, See you around. Have a good See day. You. We got to start the day.
it's 2 p.m. Decided to skip lunch. This model is stressing me. Do that so that I can leave early. Uh, yeah, so far so good. So about 70% through my workflow. Then I have a review meeting at 4 p.m. Here with Anupam. And uh, yeah, I'll let him introduce himself. Thanks, Emmanuel, for uh, bringing me on to your podcast. A quick introduction. So I have been in the industry uh, for uh, almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I have been predominantly in the construction industry, mostly in India. And then I had a brief stint in the Middle East, again in construction related consulting. So I was working in Qatar during the FIFA World Cup uh, construction phase. And wow. then I moved. Did you, did you ever attend any games? Or it was just mm, like. No, that, actually, that was the time when everything was barren. So things were getting built. So I think I saw some local football matches, but uh, not the actual. Not, not the actual games, yes. Okay, 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 okay cool. So then I moved uh, to Canada for my higher education. Um, I is this MBA? Yes, uh, it, it was an MBA program over there at IUT. And um, after that, I started working with a US corporation called Danaher in their uh, Canadian operations. So I was part of the procurement team uh, leading the global sourcing of metals common. Was this mainly procurement or it was consulting? It was mainly procurement. Mainly procurement, yes. Okay. So okay. that's when I had like a manufacturing procurement uh, experience. Prior to this, uh, all my procurement experience was uh, through the lens of construction, which is long-term contracts and other things. Yeah. Um, so after that, I did get a chance to work with Peter Bishop Canada and working with the procurement. Yes. All right, all right, all right. So <laughs> I was part of their <laughs> digital procurement team. Uh, and, uh, Between when were you at PwC? I was in PwC from 2001 till end of previous year. 2022? Yes, 2021. Wow, okay, we only had two years in common. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's actually a very long time at PwC from 2001 to no, 2021 to last year. So okay, so 2021 to 2023. Yes. Okay, so just two years. Yes. Ah, okay. Actually, that's a big overlap because literally that's half of the time I was there. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then over to a physio. Yes, over to a physio. What made you so, say yes to a physio? So I, there were two factors that worked for me or that was something that interested me. Mm. One was the region where it was growing and uh, obviously the functional expertise. So working with the PwC's procurement team, I definitely had a lucky for the subject and function. This so, is construction? Uh, this is just procurement. Okay, okay, just okay procurement. this is procurement. And agnostic to industry. So during my instant with PwC, I've worked on engagements that uh, that vary from different like uh, different cross industries, industry. cost industry, cost sector. So I worked on health and government operations. So uh, so that's where I developed really a good fascination and interest for procurement uh, from a consulting point of view. And that's what uh, made me look into the city show. And again, the region that was growing the most in the Middle East, uh, that was something I wanted to come because it's again uh, closer to a lot of people I know. So, and you've been in the region previously. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Closing thoughts, yeah. if you were to give one piece of advice to a young professional about their career, what would, what would that be? I, I just was, one. Just one. <laughs> I would say say yes to things. Uh, okay. Yeah, that would be my uh, thing because you never know what uh, the future holds, uh, what you might like uh, or what you might what might become your favorite topic, you never know. So be open and receptive to uh, things. So that would be my only advice to any young person. Awesome. Guys, I made new friends. Okay, okay, okay. Please introduce yourself. Take turns, obviously. Okay, I'll go first. Um, hi, I'm Ali. Um, I just started at Physio about two weeks ago. Um, I'm originally in Malaysia. Um, I moved to Australia. Um, 10 years ago, and now I'm here in Saudi. Hello everyone, um, I'm Emanuele. <laughs> <laughs> no jokes, actually, no also jokes. <laughs> we, we are brothers from another universe. Or something. The connection was instant. 
Yeah. Honestly, I saw you. Like he's an Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> come from Italy. I lived in Austria, in Brisbane, and I was working for EY before this global rotation program in Saudi and Dubai. Consulting, procurement, or neither? Yeah, consulting, uh, supply chain. Okay, yeah. okay, so you like supply chain. Yeah. And yourself? I was also at EY. Um, I was a manager there, but doing more risk management consulting. Okay. Yeah. So definitely a change of pace coming. In Saudi. In Saudi. In Saudi. In Saudi. <laughs> One piece of advice to young people in your same position, right? Always follow the chain, be proactive, uh, don't follow the mass news. Uh, Saudi is a great place uh, to either kickstart, grow your career even, yep. even further. Mm -hmm. Lots of opportunities here. People are uh, very keen to give uh, you a piece of projects, piece of work. And that you take, take care of them in terms of consulting career advice. Always um, ask questions when you don't understand. And Which is all the time. Yes, all the time. <laughs> never, never, let, never, never leave it un, uh, unclear. And, uh, and then, yeah, just uh, have a healthy lifestyle, I guess. Just, uh, get, get good hours of sleep. That one is important. That one is important. Ali? My Middle East. Mm. It's just a new adventure. Like, I've done Asia. I'm from Malaysia. I've done Oceania and haven't explored the side of the world. It's such a good opportunity to travel as well. Get a sense of new clientele overseas. I feel like there's different ways of yeah, working. Yeah, for sure. I've, I've experienced that in the five months that I've been. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. But I hear that um, you know, they might be a bit more demanding, but they're also the like, loveliest people as well. But I don't know. I haven't so it's, it's very friendly, yeah. right? But when it's time to work, it's time to work. Yeah, yeah. Do one piece of advice, please. One piece of advice, mm. organization yeah, yeah. and time management is the key to success. <laughs> you had it here first. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you. 30 more minutes in the day. We're almost there. We're almost there. The model is coming together. Came in clutch. Just gotta finish it up, make it look pretty. And it'll be a good day. It'll be a good day. I didn't work on any slides today, so tomorrow is literally all slides. But let's wrap up the day. Home, sweet home. Got home like two minutes ago. I am feeling very sleepy. I don't know why. I got a decent amount of sleep and the workout was quite nice, but back home, I need to go do workout number two for the day. It's such a nice way to de-stress and sometimes when the days are really hectic, I need it. But today was such a decent day. Hit out my tasks. Didn't get 200%, but can get to 100% tomorrow. Let's do the workouts and then I'll show you guys how I end out the day. But really cool voices. Um, it was a super cool day, a bit busy in the middle. I hope you enjoyed hearing from new voices. Get used to the, the different flavor, the mixture. See you later. This part of the segment is called the night shift. When work is hectic, after coming through from the gym, having dinner, we break out the laptop for working like one, two, three hours extra. It's 8 p.m. KSA time, so you know, two hours, three hours takes you very deep into the night. But tonight is chill. I'm working on some content, working on my next blog article on resilience so that's pretty cool because i haven't had a relaxed start to the week in a while so i'm really happy about that so that should take me about two hours by that time it will be time to wrap down try to get to bed by 10 30 and then maybe i read for 30 minutes that's literally the night shift it's been a cool day so let's wrap it up quite cleanly Two hours later, we are ready to close the day. Oh man, yeah, that was a bit intense. Did everything I needed to do, scheduled my posts. I'm really happy, so I can just sit back and watch the socials do their thing. Just switching off the lights now. But 
That is what a day in the life of an FSU consultant looks like. I hope you're inspired to keep doing good things, to keep working hard, to keep pushing. From me, stay in championship mode. Let me go sleep. Thank you.